What's that D stand for? Um... Hey everybody, Car Dreamer here, coming at your behalf of D-Class Derailed and all things D-Class related. Today we're taking a look at the Diamond Select Quentin Time Ray action figure. Now obviously this is a few years old, I'm behind on the times, I know. Again, it's just, like I've said in previous videos, this is just a matter of me finally getting space to display them. So, <laughs> is what it is. I'm just happy I have them. Um, so yeah, I want to get this open take a look at them i i really liked these non-standard figures whether it's by diamond select or anybody else i like figures that have something unique to them quentin time ray uh slime blower winston and ray uh you know the we're back ray with the santa hat from ghostbusters 2 you know ghostbusters 2 lewis tully things uh the the marshmallow covered ghostbuster things that are like that because we've all had a, from different companies a ton of just the standard ghostbusters in their outfits so i like something like this that makes them different stand out so uh, now i know these accessories are mostly going to be the same but let's take a look let's get them out of the box actually let's take a look at the, the package first you got the side there There's the back of the box. And of course, as you can see, this does come with a piece of the Gozer's Temple, like other figures I've had done. All right, let's take that. Let's get him out. And there we go with him out of the box. And it's the standard fare. He's got uh, extra sets of hands for grabbing and posing, both gloved and ungloved. Comes with a proton beam that goes at the end of the. the uh, thrower although i try not to use them just because they are fragile and i don't want them to break take a look at them so he's got the normal up and down left right head motion the wrists they do this as well as rotate elbows bend pretty good you got the elbow pads that help cover the bend proton pack comes with a little walkie talkie that i already put in his belt Double jointed knees, got the bend at the ankles. Take a look at his backside. I know the gun looks warped, and that's just because of the way it was in the package. Heat would, well, heat would uh, warp that right back. But that's the details for the proton pack. Can't argue with that. So. Overall, can't complain. The gun comes off, obviously, the proton pack. He stands. I might still put him... Even though I got him standing on his own, just for the sake of opening and closing the case door, I'll probably put his uh, stands on his feet. Diamond Select figures are not the best for standing on their own power. It does depend on which figure it is, though. But when it comes to the Ghostbusters, it's been hit or miss. But yeah, I mean, I can't complain. It's standard fare. The regular Ghostbusters are going to look the same way, except other than, you know, you can see where all the slime and he's dirty from a hard day's work. He's ready to quit. Comes with Ecto Goggles, by the way, as well. But, uh, yeah, no no real complaints. I'm, I'm pretty happy. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I know, like I said, the figures are old and they're not available anymore unless you were to look on eBay or something. But, um... Occasionally, you can find on Amazon the Toys R Us versions that didn't have the diorama with it. But overall, I can't complain. I, I love Ghostbusters. I want to support it best I can. I wish Diamond Selector kept going. I think they could have improved the line as they went. I, th I still think they could have done better with the proton beam on how that attaches. Or at least uh, the stability of the beam. There's no reason for that to have been as weak as it is, but that's just me. I digress. Covered it before. Anyway, I'm Card Dreamer. This has been D-Class Derailed. We're taking a look at Quentin Time Ray by Diamond Select Toys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Until next time, stay evil.